I want to share with you five realistic side hustles that can make you at least $500 per month alongside your full-time job. Look, I've noticed it too, right? A million dollars a month, $10,000 a week, $5,000 a day. Look, even though these numbers are possible, they are hardly reasonable for most people. And when I first attempted to make some extra money outside of my nine to five, all I wanted was an extra $100 a month or so so that I could pay the light bill. So if that is the stage of life that you're in right now, then this video is for you. Now, I'm not sure why no one else is talking about this side hustle but i'm going to i used to work at a big office building that was in the center of the downtown area near where i lived and the issue that i had was that the building charged 175 dollars per month just to park my car which is insane but i paid it because you know work now this next service didn't exist back then but it does today and it's called Turo. Turo is like the Airbnb for cars. So instead of going to a car rental agency to rent a car, people like you and me just rent their cars out to people that need them without all of the headache. Now here is the number one thing you shouldn't have to worry about when it comes to the side hustle. Even though Turo themselves is not an insurance company, they do offer insurance through an agency called Travelers, which covers over $750,000 worth of coverage for liability and potential damage to your car. But check out how much you can make with this. If you were to rent out your car for seven days a month, you could expect an average annual income of over $10,516, which comes out to about $875 per month, which isn't bad at all. So here's how you sign up. Just go to the website and at the top right, click on become a host and then click get started. Fill out the survey and then send in a few pictures of your car and proof of insurance and you're ready to go. So now I'm going to show you one of my favorite side hustles on this entire list. I have a friend who runs a golf shop and anytime someone comes in, he makes it his mission to get their email address. He usually does this by offering them free golf balls or a free golf glove. Now, most people are excited just to get the free gear, but what the golfers don't realize is that they are feeding into his massive cash cow, which is what our next reasonable side hustle is, an email newsletter. An email newsletter is an email that you regularly send to an audience of people that are interested in one particular subject because he has a massive list of people's contact information and know that they all love the game of golf. He can email them golf related stuff and they will open those emails. But this is where it really gets interesting. My golf buddy then approaches golf courses in the area and charges them money to put advertisements and promotions in those emails. The last time I checked, he sends around four emails per month and charges brands over $200 just to appear in one email. So let's pay attention and sit up straight and let's take that same energy and apply it to something that you and I can do. You could start collecting email addresses of people interested in one particular subject and then email them valuable information that they would be interested in. You could then use referral marketing where you can get paid anytime someone opens up an email. You can do this in your local area or you can create content online and get people to join your email newsletter that way. In fact, I like this business model so much that I'm doing it right now and I call it your extra paycheck where I email thousands of busy adults like yourself with a bunch of tips, insights, and opportunities to make some extra cash. Check out the first link right below the like button and there might be a free gift in the first email. So let me ask you something. Have you ever heard of the saying, during a gold rush, sell shovels? It was a saying that was popularized in California in the 1800s, where over 300,000 people moved out west in the United States to make money by finding buried gold. But let's be realistic here. Do you think 300,000 people all found gold? Of course not. In fact, historians believe that only about 10% of people actually found some. But you know who really made the fortunes during that time? The people selling the shovels. And that's what's happening right now when it comes to online video. So here is where this all comes together. Everyone wants to be a YouTuber, but not everyone will be successful in becoming one. So this is an opportunity for you to insert yourself in the middle and sell the shovel or become a video editor. Video editors have an insane amount of demand right now as people jump into the online video space. So whether it's YouTube or TikTok or Instagram or wherever, business owners need help taking their videos, cutting and chopping them up so that the most amount of people can see them as they try to grow their businesses. And you can learn the skill of editing video in a very short period of time. There's tons of free YouTube videos out there teaching you everything that you would ever need to know. Or if you want to invest in yourself, take courses from MKBHD or 
Ali Abdal on Skillshare and learn to edit like a pro. To get hired, go to places like Fiverr, People Per Hour, and Upwork, post a profile, and start accepting work. In terms of how much you can get paid from this, here are some potential clients that I found on Upwork that were paying over $600 per video, and another that was paying over $1,000 per video. With that kind of money, you'd only need one or two gigs a month to make a decent side income. Okay, so I think I found the GOAT of side hustle, so stay with me. Now, anytime you sign an important legal document, like buying a house or a car, most states require that that be done in front of an impartial mediator that verifies the identities of the peoples involved, so there's no confusion later. That impartial mediator is called a notary public, and they do quite well for themselves financially. Check out what I mean. A full-time mobile notary public makes about $64,000 per year, so if you were to do this in your free time, part-time, you can make anywhere from six to $1,200 every week. And surprisingly, it's not that difficult to become a notary. To become one, you need to be at least 18 years old, a resident of the state that you will be working in, and pass a written exam administered by the Secretary of State's office. But what I really like about a notary public is the perks. You will likely be an independent contractor, so you will get a very flexible schedule, meaning that you can accept the gigs you want and ignore the ones you don't. And since notaries are usually part of high value transactions, you can develop professional relationships and network with competent and reliable individuals and business owners. It's really a perfect combination of financial, professional, and personal benefits for anyone looking to make a few extra bucks on the side to help pay bills. Now here is a crazy side hustle that you probably are not even ready to hear, but last year I had a Super Bowl party at my house and it ended up being a lot more work than I anticipated. Things like getting the house ready and cooking and preparing a lot of the food, that took a ton of time. But it also included random stuff like making conversation with guests and ensuring everyone had a good time and even cleaning up afterwards to get the house back to normal. Regardless, having a good party took a lot of effort and it would have been nice if I was just able to just show up and everything was already done, just enjoyed the party and then left. But that is something that a good podcast manager can do for you. One of the most important responsibilities of a good podcast manager is setting up and scheduling interviews, helping come up with the topics that will be discussed, and creating an overall positive experience for guests. But the main reason that podcast managers exist in the first place is so that the host of the show can just come in, conduct the interview, run the show or whatever, and then trust that the editing and the posting of the video happen on time and they can concentrate on other things to help grow the business. Being a podcast manager is a big responsibility, but one that also can be done part time. Check this out. Again, on Upwork, this podcast manager charges $25 per hour. This one charges $50 per hour. And this one charges over $100 per hour. So you see the potential is there. Remember, the whole point is to make the podcast host life easier. And a position like this is also more specialized than just being a virtual assistant, which means you should be able to charge more money per hour. Exploring opportunities like these eventually set me on a path that allowed me to replace my income with what I was doing on the side, meaning I was able to ditch my annoying job. So hopefully you can take this information and do the same thing. I believe in you. It's about time that you believed in you. Take care.